Progress now within 100 meters of docking, all systems functioning perfectly. Progress now 80 meters away, continuing uh, to fire thrusters to fine tune its uh, final approach, the final few feet before contact and capture. Station MCC Moscow. Go ahead. In 50 seconds, we'll enter the eclipse. Copy. I turned on the uh, headlight. Uh, uh, now in an orbital sunset approaching uh, the west coast of South America over southern Chile. Fifty seven meters now. Can uh, turn it on, okay. Copy. I see the station, I see the target. Max Sarayev in the Zvezda service module throwing a little light on the subject as he commands uh, the external headlights, if you will, on the progress vehicle to be turned on to provide illumination for this picture being uh, received uh, through the U.S. KU band communication system from the progress itself and being routed back to the mission control center outside Moscow for Russian flight controllers to assess. 44 meters now separating progress from its destination. Ineligible. Copy. The uh, progress has now retracted its core's automated rendezvous antenna as planned at a distance of uh, about 38 meters. Everything continuing to go very smoothly. You can see at the bottom of that circular aft end of the Zvezda service module a uh, crosshair target, that is the docking target that will ultimately be aligned in the center of the crosshairs of this external camera to provide uh, the assurance that the Russian flight controllers need to make sure that uh, we have a precise alignment with the forward docking probe of the Progress for its contact and capture to the docking port itself. Uh, the time on board 72037, uh, range 46, uh, closing range 0 0.17. Copy. The progress now 44 meters away, closing at a rate of just under two tenths of a meter per second. Progress in the International Space Station flying 212 statute miles over southern Argentina. Uh, range on the angular measure. Uh, Maxim, we didn't hear you. What, did you. Could you say it again? The range about ineligible. 
Uh, about 30 meter, meters range. And the center of the screen. Uh, target. Okay, copy. Twenty-four meters now separating uh, the two vehicles. The Zvezda service module, just five months shy of uh, its 10th anniversary in space, having launched in July of 2000 from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. You can see the docking target coming nicely uh, into alignment with the crosshairs on uh, the Progress 36 cameras, providing uh, the precise alignment for the final few feet uh, before contact and capture. Progress now inside 10 meters. Moments away from docking. Everything going smoothly. Range 8 meters. Copy. Ineligible. Say it again, Maxim, please. Everything's nominal, I said. Copy. Normal, was on IOS. Houston on two for OGS stowage gathering. Six. Copy. The deviation. Three meters away, standing by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Uh, the, the range, three meters. Two meters, contact. Okay, contact. Docking confirmed, contact and capture. Okay. Congratulations, Maxim. Congratulations with a successful docking. And, and c congratulations to you guys with the automatic, successful automatic uh, docking. Copy. Thank you. Docking occurring almost to the second that had been planned by Russian flight controllers right on time at 10.26 p.m. Central Time as uh, the Progress 36 
And the International Space Station flew 212 statute miles over the South Atlantic, just to the east of Montevideo, Uruguay. A smooth and uneventful docking of the new cargo ship delivering 2.8 tons of food, fuel and supplies to the International Space Station. For the first time in the history of the International Space Station, four Russian vehicles now reside at the orbital laboratory.